Tak til Bilditus. Så har vi et enkelt oplæg tilbage. Det er Himmelhaven. Værsgo. Hej. Um, this is going to be in English, so prepare your ears. <laughs> This is the dream. Imagine a rooftop garden in the centre of Aarhus. A place where you can get your hands dirty with soil, play with plants, play with flowers, plant vegetables, maybe even sit and enjoy a cup of coffee with a view over the whole of the Latin Quarter. That's our dream. But not only do we just want a rooftop garden, we'd also like to have Denmark's first vertical garden. Maybe 15 metres tall, maybe self-watering, maybe a focal aesthetic point in bringing Aarhus to the sustainability map of the world. But where we are at the moment is we're a group of very enthusiastic people that would like to have the possibility to play with, play with the city that we live in, play with the soil and plants and everything that we have to our, at our disposal. This is kind of a different presentation because it's also a kind of advert because we need you guys. We would like you to become involved. Himmelhaven is an organisation that's been running for the last two years. It's non-profit and we're a lot of different people with, that come from completely different backgrounds. We have architects, we have carpenters, but we also have political science students, pensioners, pedagogues. Everyone is welcome to be involved. And we use whatever we have at our disposal. We have plants that we get sponsored and we have wood that we find on the street. But at the moment we don't have a place that we can actually call our own, so we're dependent on other organisations to invite us to be part of their events. As Bella Stott mentioned earlier this evening, um, in Aarhus Festival we were part of a decorating their installation on Flag Skill with various plants, so we made a kind of urban jungle for the week. It was very much a temporary project, but it was fantastic to see the possibility of including plants in city life. Um, most of the flowers we were we, were, we bought, uh, but we also got some sponsored, and we also grew some of them ourselves at other projects that we've been involved in. So that project was very much temporary, but it still, still gave us the possibility to get out in the city and see what people's reaction was like, were people actually interested in what we were doing, and it seemed that they were. We were also invited during the summer to take part in a different exhibition at Aarhus Kunstwerken, where the theme was bringing nature to the city. Here we were held a one-day workshop where we help children and their families plant a flower meadow, plant vegetables, and even the vegetables that we planted was actually something that Northside Festival had provided. Um, so there the drunk festival goers went along and planted beans in biodegradable cups, and then we then planted them with four-year-old children. And it was wonderful to see the cycle of creativity and how everyone can be involved, because we all have something to offer. During that one-day workshop, there were two children that came under the age of eight with their father and they planted celery and beetroots and they came every day during the summer to water those plants and see how they were developing and it was really really wonderful to see just how much you can get involved. We planted a flower meadow where we wrote art and it was just a fantastic way to experiment. We were actually given the opportunity to use the land that they have at August Kunstwickney to play. And we do all of these events because we want to gain some experience for the day when we one day get offered our rooftop garden. Because these the rooftop garden and the Denmark's first vertical garden are not just projects and dreams that we have, they're actually becoming reality. Um, the rooftop garden is part of a 9 million krona project that has been included in Aarhus' application for City of Culture in 2017. It, has been, it is through the first round of treatment by Aarhus City Council and it's through to the second round and it looks almost certain to get the thumbs up. Denmark's first vertical garden is has been sponsored with over 600,000 krona by various local, large and small associations. Local restaurants have been fantastic in sponsoring it because they have the possibility of growing their own herbs on the lower part of the wall. We've also been amazed at how generous people have been. These flowers we used at the Bellastock Festival were sponsored by a local garden centre. We also received soil because they thought that the project seemed really interesting. We also have been sponsored with free stone paper, which, as we've mentioned, the Cradle to Cradle Talk is the most sustainable material that there is on the market at the moment. And that's been sponsored to us by World Perfect. And we're making student toolkits just over there, so everyone can get involved. So, one day, hopefully, we will get our rooftop garden, and it will be all wonderful. This was an event that we took part in in Una Plume. I'm not sure if anyone attended it, 
but it was a really fantastic event when lots of different uh, yeah, organizations and groups in Aarhus came along and showed what they were doing. And it was really fantastic to be invited because Aarhus is where we're working, this is our canvas, and everyone should be involved because this is the town that we live in and this is where we can make our mark. The plan is that when we have our rooftop garden, which will be in within the year or within a couple of years, we would like to have lots of vegetables that then we can either sell or we can make food with it ourselves. We'd also like to be a facilitating organisation so we can hold workshops and make it make everyone realise that gardening is not just something that old people do when they grow up, grow old and move back to the countryside. Urban gardening is something that's very, very big at the moment. It's a part of a huge movement across the entire world. And it'd be fantastic to actually bring Aarhus onto that map and say it's not just something that happens in New York and San Francisco because they're the cool places anyway. Aarhus can actually do something and we already are. And if you want to be involved, there's loads of opportunity to do so. On Sunday, this Sunday at 6 p.m., we're meeting on Mile Girl to go for a walk with 100 tulip bulbs, hollyhock seeds, marigold seeds, and whatever that you have lying around, you might, it might be that you've got a plant that you thought was going to die and you know, might as well give it a proper burial. Six o'clock on Sunday, at the building that's been torn down on Mile Girl, come for a walk and see what August is like. It's fantastic. These are some tulips that I planted last year, and the wonderful thing about bulbs is they stay under the ground and no one knows they're there. It's like, it's like sneaking around, like spying. And then when it gets to the spring, it comes up, and who can really be that sad that a tulip has appeared on their doorstep? Fuck, how annoying. If you don't want to go for a walk with plants, on next Wednesday, we're going to be going around with the crates that we're currently building. If you want to make some noise with some hammers, go and build a crate. Next Wednesday, Kim and Heron is going to be meeting up, and we're going to go and distribute these crates. Otherwise, find us on Facebook to keep up with what we're doing. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Yeah.